Now today, family members of those killed have been speaking as well. And we can cross to the courthouse and talk to our correspondent now, uh, Andrew Hillier. Andy, um, tell us a bit about what you've been hearing in court today. Well, we've just heard some uh, very emotional uh, testimony, testimony from uh, a young lady whose uh, father was killed during those uh, attacks at the Bataclan. She wished, she wished to uh, remain uh, anonymous during the media. She described how when she heard about the attacks taking place across Paris and in the Bataclan, when she remembered the moment, she remembered how her parents were both at that concert. She said that she tried calling them and didn't get any answer. She described how one of the hardest things for, for her during that night were how she realized, was when she realized that she had to stop calling her parents because if she had continued to call them, that could put their lives in even more danger by attracting the attention of the jihadists. She broke down, at several, she broke down in tears at several points during her testimony, very powerful stuff. And of course, one of the things she described was the moment when she got that phone call saying that her father had died. Uh, very emotional there as well. Of course, her mother did survive. She, she, she was transferred to hospital after the attack. But as for the young lady herself, she said that lo not long after the attack, she left Paris could she, because she could no longer bear to live in the city. So that's just one story, Andy, of a, a family of somebody who lost their lives at the Bataclan. But survivors themselves have been giving some very powerful testimony as well. What can you tell us? Yeah, that's right. We're continuing to hear uh, testimony from the survivors themselves, including from uh, one, uh, one, one lady called uh, Dominique. She described how at the moment the gunmen burst into the concert hall and began shooting at the crowd, how she fell over. She fell down to the ground next to the stage under a mass of people. She could no longer move. And she described how she remembered thinking how she remembered feeling something she had never felt before that went beyond fear. The feeling, she said, you get when you know you're going to die. Now, Dominique was one of the lucky ones to have survived the attack. She says that although she still deals with the trauma of that night, she believes the experience, the experience has made her a stronger person today. Andrew Hillier, for us there outside the courthouse in central Paris, uh, thank you very much indeed.